All right, so resoldered, reconnected. We will now plug power back in again and give her a whirl one more time. Correct, connect my ground here. DC volt or AC volts first. Turn it on. We're getting at 64 volts. I'm going to notch it down a bit because I want to. I'm going to bring it down. Let's just do 40 volts. Or 30 volts, I mean, about half of that. Because I want to turn the power back on here and check my AC heaters. And we're at 1 volt AC. Yep, 0.8 anyway. So that's a lot better. So. Everything else, all things being equal, everything else should be good to go. The only thing I need to do, though, is shut this back off because I want to, I did not seal those off, and that's a good thing that I caught that. They're not touching anything or each other, but if they did, it would cause a big problem. So I'm going to shut her back off. Tested that. That's looking good. But before we go further, we'll sort, sort that out. I can actually maybe do that really quickly, real time. Uh, i got power off. Check my DC voltage. This is going to be safe. We just test to make sure it's, it's bleeder resistors working. We're down to 15 volts already, but we got to wait a little longer. Give it a few more. I don't know if you can see that, but got two volts now. 1.5. So we're getting pretty. You know, that's the the good the, the job of the bleeder resistors is working. That are these. Those are these right here. They pass around each of the caps. You know, each pair of the caps. And that helps bleed off the extern the, any uh, extra power. There we go. Now those are protected. So I can kind of tuck them out of the way. They're not needed. All right, so now let's go ahead, put power back in again. Oh, okay, yeah, we got 190 volts, we're good. Now, I reconnected um, this, but it, I might not be getting a voltage on the, DC rail for some reason. I mean, on the uh, computer rail. Doesn't seem like I am. Okay, so at this point, of course, our video cuts off short because I forgot to check my batteries. So the segment of video here I was talking about and, and testing the, the heater rails, and the heater rails ended up um, being at only 3.1 volts. But that was because I was measuring it wrong. I'll talk about that in a minute here, but you're supposed to measure on either side of the rails to get the 6.3. I was measuring from ground. Okay, so I uh, consulted the forums again because I was telling you I had three volts, which was kind of weird. But uh, contacting the forum guys made it clear to me, oh no, that's that's expected, that's okay, don't worry about it. So everything else was standing good. We powered up, and I um, noticed some of the heaters didn't seem to be, you know, getting power to them. And I played around with it. I don't know if I had like a uh, some some of the pins were a little bit loose, but actually after plugging and replugging in a few of the tubes and moving around, it also just started working. Actually, it turns out uh, I had uh, not done a good job of soldering some of the pins. So after a little later in this build, I had a lot of other problems, and I went back and resoldered a whole bunch of the pins, and the heater issues have now been completely resolved. I think that some of the pins may not have been making full contact, and therefore we weren't getting the heater wires up, but they're now going. So what I'm going to do right now, again, is just do a quick power on check, make sure everything looks good. <clears throat> And all of my heaters are glowing. And that's good to go. All right, so um, at this point, I can check my voltage here. And it's saying it's 118. I don't know if that's readable from your position. but um, So if I go to my voltage here, again on my rail, right here, I am at 302 volts. And so what I'm going to do is to test this out is I've got a... Um, a signal generator app on my phone. I'm going to put it on a sine wave, put it in, and then get my oscilloscope out, plug it in, and look at it. So what I'm going to do now is we'll stop the video, and I will hook all of that up and get back to you in a second once we're there. I do have a dummy load hooked up now. I don't know if you can see this, but it's right here. That's connected into my input jack so that I can test this without causing any harm to the, to the uh, output transformer. So we'll get to that now. Okay. All right, as you can see now on my waveform generator, I've got a sine wave on the input, and I'm also connected over here to the output with a hundred times probe, just to be safe. And uh, 
Now we'll turn it on. I've got the master, all the volumes, reverbs, bass, treble, everything down to zero. So I have master volume, well, volume, uh, bass, treble, and then this is reverb. So they're all down now. We're gonna uh, we're gonna turn it on. Oh, are we still on? Oh, we're on. Okay, so I was on, and uh, we'll test now. See if we're getting anything on the output side. We shouldn't because I've got the volume down. Okay, so as I slowly bring this up, we are getting output. Look at that, but it is pretty heavily distorted. So we definitely have a bit of some kind of weird distortion going on. The input is a sine wave, the output is pretty heavily distorted. Um, if I turn the reverb circuit on, we get some other weird stuff. So that's a sign that I'm getting output. If I turn the volume down, let me turn the, the reverb all the way off again. Uh, we're gonna put our, we've got our treble and our bass here, so I'm gonna bring those about to midway. And they are shaping the tone a bit, as you can see, but as I bring the volume up, we start hitting distortion, bring it back down, I think we get out of. So there's definitely some oddness going on there. I'm not sure, we'll have to, I'll have to plug that in, but we are getting output. Uh, it is changing the shape a bit. So it's possible that we have something not done well, but we are, happily enough at least, getting input or output. So if we look, the input is going at 200 millivolts per division. We are about, what, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, almost eight. So uh, 1600 millivolts or, or 1.6 volts. And the output is in the one volt scale and it's about four or five volts, I guess. So the, the, we're, you know, Matt, we obviously are amplifying the output. So that's a good sign that something's happening. I just found out after looking at this and talking on the forums yet again that I was overdriving the input. You should really only have about 200 millivolts peak to peak and I, as you heard I was doing 1.8 millivolts and that was quite heavy and that might be why I had so much distortion. Now I can actually convert this to a, take that off for a second, convert it to like a saw wave instead, send it back out and Still, we're definitely getting output. So it's a good sign that we're getting output, but um, I'll have to uh, see if I can go now and step my way different points in the circuit to see where it may specifically be going bad. So we're going to pull this guy now off. All right, so let's go back to a sine wave for a minute. If you look, I now am getting a sine wave, but it's inverted, and it's a little, it's a little funny looking, but. And it is at five volts for division already at this point. So we're getting four, about 20 volts right there. So it almost means like, like feels like we're losing some volume. If I check to the next phase, let's do auto check again. Give it a second to, okay, so we're now we're back in phase again. That's kind of good to see. Uh, another point that might be good to see it would be, I'll have to unconnect my ground, is up here on the power stage, right before we head off into the power tubes, and we'll see that. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull this out now. Disconnect my ground. Oh wow, look at that, that's interesting. We're getting a decent amount of distortion already there, and it's uneven distortion somewhat. I turn reverb up a little bit. Doesn't even seem to be massively affecting it. Okay, I've got the volume all, is that all the way up? Oh, that's maxed. It's squaring off pretty hard. If I 
course I'm not getting great contact here sorry you see how we're notching off it looks like we're in a massive distortion already the volume down to almost nothing I'm even getting that might be some feedback from my end but so the volumes at nothing Anyway, all right, so we're not going to push it too hard, but we basically know there's a good chance something is a bit out of whack in that. But we're getting output. So I'll definitely want to do a little research into uh, what's going on. It may, it may be worth it for me to at least try and plug it in to a guitar instead of just the signal generator and plug it into an output speaker. But at this point, that's a good sign that we're up. The amplifier is amplifying and we're processing sound. So, hey, there we go.